Good morning all. Welcome you all to a new session of the chapter sets. In the last class we discussed one of the very important concepts of the chapter sets that is operations on sets. So far we discussed three operations. First one union of sets, second one intersection of sets and third one difference of sets. Today we are going to learn the fourth operation on set. Consider the example. Consider the set A, B, C and the universal set U. I am going to write a new set by using the set A and U. By operating the set A and U, I am going to write a new set like this. Can you say which operation I performed to get the set from A and U? Very simple. That is, I have written all the elements in U which are not in A. That operation is called complement of A. And the symbol to represent complement of A is A dash. Then, what do we mean by A dash? The set of all elements which are in U but not in A. In other words, we can say A dash is equal to U minus A. Set of all elements in U not in A. Then, what will be B dash B complement? By consider this set B and U, we get B dash like this. The set of all elements which are in U but not in B, the symbol is B dash. And what we get when we write C dash? C dash is equal to set 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What is the peculiarity of the elements in this set? The elements are in U but not in C. It is called complement of C and symbol is C dash. In general, the complement of a set is the set of all elements which are in the universal set and not in that set. Clear? Now let us write this fact into your notebook. Our fourth operation, write the subheading complement of a set. Then write the complement of a set capital A is a set of all elements which are in U but not in A and is denoted by A dash or another symbol is A power C, small letter C, A power C. These two symbols are used to represent the complement of a set. Now, we are going to write the set builder form of A dash. A dash is a set. It contains so many elements. Let us represent it by X. Then what is the common characteristic, characteristic property possessed by all the elements of the set A dash? That is, these elements belong to U at the same time that elements are not in A. Then this is the set builder form of A dash. A dash is equal to set of all X such that X belongs to U and X does not belongs to A. Clear? Now, let us write some examples for complement of a set. Let S equal set to 4, 5, 7, B equal 5, 7, 8, 9, C equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and their universal set is 1, 2, 10. Then, write A dash at first. What is A dash? Set of all elements in U, but not in A. Then A dash is equal to 1, 3, 6, 8, 9, and 10. When we take the union of A and A dash, we get U. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. When we take the union of A and A dash, we get what? U. It means that A dash is equal to U minus A. Then what will be B dash? Write yourself and C dash. Okay. Write B dash and C dash yourself after passing the video. 
okay you may get like this b dash equal to set 1 2 3 4 6 10 and c dash is equal to set 6 7 8 9 10 another example example number 2 a b c and u is equal to this set then what is a dash set of all elements in u not in a it means that set d e f g h then write b dash and c dash yourself b dash is equal to set a b c h and c dash is equal to set b d f h clear now we are going to draw the venn diagram of a dash to draw the venn diagram of a dash first we have to draw a using a circle after that a universal set covering a using a rectangle now we want to share the portion a dash what do we mean by a dash set of all elements which are not in a which are not in a but in u so we want to share the portion which is not in a but in u then the correct portion is this one this is this green shaded region represent the complement of a dash drawing your notebook beautifully okay now we are going to discuss some notes regarding complement of a set for that the venn diagram help to get the notes see the venn diagram and write the note some note yourself by observe observing the venn diagram you can say that a dash is equal to the green shaded portion is a dash a dash equal to u rectangle minus circle u minus a a dash is equal to u minus a that is the first note then second note what is the union of a and a dash a is a circle and a dash is the green shaded region then what is their union a union a dash very simple that is u then what will be their intersection a intersection a dash that is there is no common region to a and a dash therefore their intersection is phi in other words we can say a and a dash are disjoint sets they have no common region hence we can say that they are disjoint sets and the fourth note phi dash phi is a subset of u phi dash means the set of all elements which are not in phi but in u what is the meaning phi dash is equal to the universal set because phi contains no elements therefore phi dash equal to u then what is u dash u dash equal to set of all elements which are in u we know that u is the universal set hence every element contained in u hence u dash contains zero elements or u dash equal to phi now sixth note a intersection phi dash as we know phi dash is equal to u then what is a intersection phi dash a intersection phi dash is a intersection u a is the subset u is the universal set therefore a intersection u equal to a therefore sixth note is a intersection phi dash equal to a similarly a intersection u dash u dash equal to phi then a intersection phi phi is the subset a is the superset in that case therefore a intersection phi equal to phi clear then note number eight a dash whole dash what is the meaning of a dash whole dash the complement of the complement of a set a is this one a dash is the green shader region what is the complement of the green shader region that is a itself it is it means that a dash whole dash equal to what a the complement of the complement of a set is the set itself this law is called law of double complementation law of double complementation okay this is the eighth knot now see the venn diagram what this venn diagram represents that is a minus b what is the meaning of a minus b a minus b means the set of all elements which are in a but not in b elements which are in a but not in b in other words we can say it is the intersection of a and b dash okay it is the intersection of a and b dash the set of all elements which are common to a 
and the elements which are not in B, that is A minus B. So we can write A minus B equal to e, A intersection B dash. What is the meaning of A minus B? Set of all the elements which are in A but not in B. What is the meaning of A intersection B dash? Set of all the elements in A and not in B. A and intersection means and. A and not in B. Here also it means that A and not in B. Then what will be B minus A? B minus A represent. B minus A means set of all the elements which are in B and not in A. That is B intersection a dash very important results therefore write beautifully in your notebook this all results okay when we see the left hand side of this result we want to uh, we want to be able to say what is the right side without any doubt clear now draw this diagram in your notebook that represent a intersection b dash and b intersection a dash a intersection b dash is same as a minus b and b intersection a dash is same as b minus a okay now we are going to learn a new uh, theorem or a new law that is very important in this chapter c Venn diagram a b are two sets their universal set is u then what is a union b Shape the portion A at first, then the portion B. This represents A union B. Okay. Then what is the complement of A union B? What is the complement of A union B? A union B represents this one. Then what is the complement? What is A union B whole dash? The portion of U which are not in A union B. See the diagram? A, B. This is the universal set. I want to shade the portion A union B whole dash. So, shade the portion which are not in A union B. Okay. Not in A union B but in U like this. This represents A union B whole dash. Okay. Now, see this diagram. A and B. This is the universal set. What is the portion that represents A dash? A dash represents set of all the elements which are not in A but in U. Not in A but in U. Therefore, this portion represents A dash. Then what is the uh, portion representing B dash? That is not in B but in U. This portion. Then what is the common to both A dash and B dash? Common region to both A dash and B dash. The common region to both A dash and B dash are the portion which is outside to both A and B. Okay. It is. It means that a dash intersection B dash represent this portion. This portion is not only in uh, outside of A but also outside of B. Therefore, this represent A dash intersection B dash. Now, we have seen two diagrams. First one is this one and second one is this one. This represent A union B whole dash and this represent A dash intersection B dash. Both figures represent the same figure. Okay. In other words, we can say A union B whole dash equal to A dash intersection B dash. A union B whole dash equal to A dash intersection B dash. This theorem was first invented by great British mathematician De Morgan. Therefore, this law is called De Morgan's laws. De Morgan law. This is the first De Morgan law and second De Morgan law. You can say a intersection B whole dash is equal to A dash union B dash. Second De Morgan law is A intersection B whole dash is equal to A dash union B dash. Very, 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 very important theorem. First law, A union B whole dash is equal to A dash intersection B dash. And second law, A intersection B whole dash is equal to A dash union B dash. Clear? Now, see, this is the uh, picture of uh, photo of Augustus de Morgan, he was a British mathematician and he was born in India, Tamil Nadu, Mathure, okay, in 1806 and died in 1871. He has 64 years old and he was the first man who invented this theorem A union B whole dash is equal to A dash intersection whole dash, A dash intersection B dash. So, we call that theorem as De Morgan's laws. Okay. Now, write in your notebook De Morgan's laws. First law, A union B whole dash equal to A dash intersection B dash. And second law, A intersection B whole dash equal to A dash union B dash. 
write neatly and beautifully in your notebook okay then we can set this theorem as the complement of the union of two set is equal to intersection of their complement once more the complement of the union of two sets is equal to intersection of their complement second law the complement of the intersection of two set is equal to union of their complement or a union b whole dash is equal to a dash intersection b dash a intersection b whole dash is equal to a dash union b dash very 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 important law so therefore you by had it well now proof to one we already prove it using venn diagram so draw this figure then draw the uh, proof of second result a intersection b dash is equal to a dash union b dash yourself okay after pausing the video you may get a figure like this okay proof to two a intersection b whole dash the set of all portion which are in which are not in a intersection b it is a intersection b whole dash the same as a dash union b dash clear now write two question first question is this one do this problem yourself represent a intersection b union c using venn diagram okay draw universal set then three set a b c now say the portion a intersection b union c yourself okay one more question represent a minus b intersection c dash using venn diagram these two figures these two problems help you to familiarize how to draw how to shade the portion uh, using venn diagram okay today's class is over try to learn in time in the next class we will discuss the problems relating operations on sets means union intersection subtraction and complement so before attending next class learn these concepts very well Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.